All right. Do you hear me, guys? Yeah, we hear you loud and clear. Right on. Okay. Uh, I guess just I'll jump right into this. You're at the Stinkin' Roast tonight. Have you already done your comedy gig? We have. We actually just just wrapped up and sent some people home with some cake. Some cake. Yeah. So that's, that's right. what you missed out on if you weren't here at the Thinking Rose. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to go there because I have a cold. I would have I would have infected everyone there. <laughs> we don't want that, do we? No, no, no. The cake is fine. We can, <laughs> we can pass that around. Okay. All right. So what's the name of your uh, comedy uh, gang? We, uh, we are called Jobless. Jobless. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's funny right there. Look at that. You guys are funny. Yeah, we're off to a good start. Yeah. <laughs> that is. And, and because jo- it's true. <laughs> it, it is true. Okay. Well, don't tell John, the owner of the Stinking Rose, that. So you're, you're, the name is Jobless, and I hear, though, you guys aren't just some lowly funny guys. You are real funny guys. Something's going on at the CBC, and it's big, and you are involved. Can you maybe fill my listeners in on that? Yeah, absolutely. We are um, part of what the CBC is running. It's called the CBC Comedy Coup Contest. And what it's doing is it's running for the next month and a half. um, And the whole idea is we get people interested, and they follow us, they rate us, and they share us, and they can vote for us at this point now. And the winner of this contest, once it's all over, gets a comedy pilot with the CBC that will air next fall. We already have made the top 100, and, and uh, we're very happy with where we've been trending so far uh, in terms of the rankings. Uh, so we're just trying to kind of conjure up some support uh, to help make the top 50 and then the top 15 after that and, and so on and so forth. Right. Well, that sounds excellent. So if my listeners support you, if you do win, if you're ever on TV and interviewed, could you guarantee them that you'll say Ray on the radio is the best radio show ever? Absolutely. And then we will support oh, you. <laughs> have, yeah, have my word. You have, okay. You are funny. Okay. Comedic influences. Comedians always, they sort of, um, they intrigue me. I mean, it's not an easy gig. It's not like a, a musician, which is very sexy and very... Uh, Deep. Uh, called sexy before. Yeah. Recently. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> We've been called sexy before, but it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Oh, it sounds like my life. <laughs> I, all right. Well, that's good. What about influences? Comedic influence. You have any? All right, Mike, you go first. Oh, that, that's a tall order. I mean, I, I've been always been uh, very particular of the work of, of Larry David, co-creator of Seinfeld, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, something about his neurotic stress case lifestyle, uh, just I, I relate to it deeply. My influences, I grew up watching things like um, like the Looney Tunes, Animaniacs, that kind of thing, as well as my dad was really into the Three Stooges. Oh, yes. Yeah, and just I loved it so much. And, uh, and, and actually, um, I, I actually might say my biggest comedic influence is my dad, like when I was a younger kid, like he even found a way to make that uh, Disney Fantasia movie funny. Oh, is that right? I... Yeah, yeah, he would just, uh, he would do voices. <laughs> I, I, think that, I think that explains maybe how Jobless arrived at the kind of unique blend of neurotic slapstick that it is. <laughs> cool. Now, a question, when you get back to um, the, uh, what's the curl, uh, the Three Stooges, I love the Three Stooges, I love the violence, I loved everything about it. Sure. Um, so it tells uh, people a lot about the person, what, uh, depending on which stooge you like the oh, best. Here we go, yeah. Which one did you like? I, I think I, I, hmm, I think Curly, <laughs> he and I connect the best. Curly was cool. And yeah. what about your cohort there? Who, uh, what was his uh, his best stooge? Yeah, who are you, Mike? Who am, oh, you know what? I... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you a curveball. I'm gonna say Shemp. Oh, and that's cool. funny you say that because I was gonna say <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes Shemp. Shemp, you know, I mean, <laughs> you curly lovers. <laughs> well, Mo was pretty right. cool too. He was a bit, uh, yeah. Mo was good, but to was, Shemp. Yeah. Oh, come on now. <laughs> All right. So, is there a website we can go on? Where are, where are my listeners going to vote for uh, you guys to uh, help you out on your CBC run here? Yeah, absolutely. What you can do is you. Can can go to... I didn't push that. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, you called somebody. <laughs> this, is, this is not us. This is a ship. Stinking Rose line. Oh, is that the Stinking Rose? Oh, they're probably doing a debit deal now. Well, I got to let you guys go then because that, that's bothering people. Hey, well, what's the best radio show you've ever heard in your life? We're just, uh, we're just, what's going on over here? I'm hanging up on you guys. <laughs> you take care. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. Hey, no problem. Bye now. <laughs>